to further deter criminals from perpetrating domestic and sexual violence in Lagos State, stakeholders involved in the arrest and prosecution of suspects must be adequately trained to improve their efficiency while handling such sensitive cases. The Chief Judge of Lagos State, Justice Kazim Aloba, made this known during a training program facilitated by the state's Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency. Justice Aluba, who was present alongside other heads of courts in the state, said this is a step towards reducing mistrials and controversial judgments, which can also be aided with adequate forensic technology. We've always made it a point of duty to assign enough judges to that unit of the criminal division to ensure that cases coming to that uh, unit are expeditiously dealt with. And we've also been having even in-house uh, workshops uh, in further training these judges, sharing experiences, and getting to know about what is available as to best practices and the rest of them. So Lagos State Judiciary has given a primus place to the effective and timeless adjudication of this kind of offense. So where we are statutory mandate is to ensure we um, build capacity of all relevant responder agencies and the judiciary is one of um, the key responder agencies. Granted they come in almost at the tail end of, um, of, um, of case, once, once cases come in, they are almost at the end. But they are critical in ensuring we are able to secure justice for survivors. And so even as we engage the police, we engage the lawyers, engage social workers, engage doctors, nurses, it's important that we continuously engage members of the judiciary on best practices of sexual and gender-based violence. It's important that judges and magistrates have appreciate issues that pertain to sexual and gender-based violence, understand the psychology of abusers, and also know that you know, survivors of sexual and gender-based violence are quite peculiar, and the, the necessary attention needs to be placed, especially taking into cognizance the fact that a good number of survivors don't even want to report in the first instance. And other facilitators from the agency and the educational institutes in Lagos so the presence of judges will also help identify areas in the law that requires amendments to protect all parties involved until proven guilty. We're having a training, some kind of interactive session, a session with the judiciary today. And it's one of the ways of addressing the challenges. As prosecutors, we depend heavily on um, witnesses, we cannot go and give evidence in the box ourselves. So one of the problems we identified is the reluctance of the victims to want to give evidence in court. That is the survival of the crime. And um, so we have put in place a witness support unit and also the DSVA uh, agency is there to assist them psychologically, to counsel them so that they can give evidence, have the confidence that is required. To, to give evidence, you know. Problem. It's also very essential that when judges are trained, they can handle the cases better than those who are not trained, in the sense that judges that are trained are more sensitive to cases of sexual and gender based violence. They are able to ensure perpetrator accountability and also victim safety, they ensure that the, the victim will be safe at all times. So you, you really can't overemphasize the place of training for all judicial officers, especially for judges. It affects the way people think or see things or respond to issues. So if there's a judge that believes that women should be quiet, women should be silent, you shouldn't be seen, um, the kind of things you should be wearing and stuff like that. If you take a case before that kind of judge, the way that person is thinking will affect the kind of judgment or the way they would put their questioning or responses to a survivor or anyone that is brought before their court.